Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach on the internet or anywhere under the sun and the reason is very simple. No one has the kind of coaching program like I have and nobody spends as much time on their clients like I do. True story. I spend two to three times per week on my clients, whether that's with audio exchange or with telephone sessions. Okay, so the two coaching programs, um, coaching packages rather, um, the links of them are below. Now, my coaching program that I've developed and I have been coaching with for um, over eight years now um, is really, really efficient. The idea is when you start coaching with me is to follow through the program in its entirety, okay? And that takes two to three months minimum. It differs person to person because everybody has a tale to tell. And I really start um, with childhood going uh, all the way up until today in order to cover the history first, for me to understand the kind of belief systems that you hold, um, everything that happened up until now, the kind of manifestations. This is really important because going forward, you will be changing all this. Okay, so I need to know what I'm working with and the kinds of situations that um, you have lived through that have affected you. This is direct communication with me. And so um, I spend about two hours um, per each client um, a day in order to, for example, listen to their audio, transcribe their audio, and then respond with my own response, or in the case of telephone session, which is an hour long session, sometimes I go over, uh, many times I go over, as it were, um, and then to re-listen to that session another hour and then take my notes. Sometimes that results in three hours. But I'm genuinely interested in doing this work thoroughly because I really am interested in getting to know you so that I can help you best. Okay. Upon booking me, you need to sign the coaching agreement, which basically states, I am not a psychiatrist. I'm a coach. You need to be respectful. You need to be open to my suggestions. You don't need to be um, rebuttaling me. You don't get to do that, actually. Um, I assume that you're coming in into my coaching from YouTube and you have had the chance to listen to like over 200 audios of mine. You understand my personality. You understand I curse sometimes for emphasis. Um, and you understand that I'm very direct and brutally honest. This is the only way I know how to be. And frankly, if you're doing coaching, uh, if you're coming in into my coaching, you understand that there's no other like plan but being uh, perfectly honest, brutally honest, so that you can achieve the most out of this coaching. Okay, if you expect this to be a therapy that we're going to cover your history and keep talking about it, that is not going to happen, meaning we don't get to... Um, um, rehash the things that we already talked about. We need to continue working on different other steps, which will effectively um, help you manifest a different future. Okay, so in therapy, to the best of my understanding and knowledge, people just end up talking about the same things for over and over for years, in some cases, without any results in most cases. Okay, dare I say, um, in coaching, I'm very focused on results. And therefore, you really need to come prepared to work and pay attention. Okay, and really focus on um, every, every single assignment that I give you. If you cannot come to my coaching, alternatively, I have just recorded an audio book. Okay. Um, it's called the master manifestor ultimate guide, something like this ultimate master manifesto mini audio book. Um, it's not really mini. It's up to like almost six hours of audio, essentially taking you through the entirety of my coaching process in depth, discussing every single step, every single stage. Now, of course, you don't get me in person. However, I did include in that package two one hour sessions, um, which will be basically questions answered by me that you may have after listening to all of this. 
is, but it is really in depth. It's very informative. It's as good as it gets. Um, to you know, as close as you will get to my coaching. Of course, I cannot cover your history in that package, because um, well, you you're not on the phone with me. You're not in in coaching with me. Okay, but this is as close as as it gets, and it really is. I mean, dare I say I've listened to it? Um, because sometimes when I channel and this book was channeled from you know first top to bottom never did i take any notes just bullet points and i just kind of channeled the entire book it is really a, an amazing investment that will um comp you can re-listen to these audios the only thing that you cannot do is share them or post them anywhere because they're copyright protected okay but it's a really amazing investment and it will serve you really really well okay if you have any questions please um directly email me the email is below or just book me and um come into coaching with me and we'll we'll start with a an initial phone call alternatively if you want to get on the phone with me for an hour you can also book that on my website the link is below um, this is to make sure I'm your kind of coach. You get to tell me about what's going on in your life. And then we go from there. This is for you um, to first make sure, like I said, that I'm your kind of cup of tea. But after this, to be prepared to book the coaching. Okay, so I'm, I'm probably going to do a live on Saturday. I'm not sure yet. I will post it. So um, subscribe and hit the bell and all that stuff for notifications. Um, I might just do it on Saturday. Just keep your or, um, uh, keep your eyes open for the time and you will be able to ask me some questions live okay it's, it's going to be about an hour <clears throat> maybe an hour 15 minutes but just a heads up um, so just subscribe if you're listening and push the button of the bell and um, be ready to um, and email the questions okay um, that's a lot better for me but anyway just um, watch out for that um, time that I will announce Okay, the topic of today, the subject of today is how to become your SP's number one priority. Okay, a lot of you come into my coaching, uh, especially women, <laughs> hello girls, um, who have these um, situations with their SP's that <clears throat> there's either a third party that somehow came into the picture or there's some other, you know, components in, in the relationship that basically takes up the room in your SP's um, life and doesn't make, um, doesn't allow for you to be his number one priority and spend the most time with you um, or, you know, there's other obligations or whatever else. Or, you know, there may not be anything else other than he's just not making you his priority. His priority is him. <laughs> okay, so whatever the situation is, is really irrelevant. The idea is that right now you're not where you want to be and you're not your guys or girls um, top priority, but you should be. Okay, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. Now, this can only work, parenthesis here, and this is why I offer coaching, if you do the work on your beliefs. If you truly don't believe you can do it, you can do whatever you want in the 3D, in the physical reality that we occupy, it will not help you. Okay, the change has to come from the inside, from the mentality of all of it, from the way that you think, okay? from the way that you are subsequently doing things, okay? For those people who expect changes without actually diving deep into their belief work um, and cha making changes and expecting the outcome to be different on the outside, it's literally like, you know, putting in the same ingredients that are completely wrong for the dish and expecting a delicious dish, Okay, I was being very nice about the metaphor. I could come up with a really gross one. But anyway, <laughs> putting shit in the recipe and expecting the meal to taste great. Okay, so you need to come up with... <laughs> I couldn't resist. You really need to work through your beliefs, which obviously haven't served you, that have, you know, produced these situations for you in life, like third parties, like situations that, you know, block your happiness and this, that, and the other, whatever that might be right now, okay? So you're the one creating all of this. You're creating this third party. You're creating this person to behave this way. You're creating all of this, 
okay? So if you are upset with this, if you are upset with this person, understand that really, truly, there is no place to, you know, if you're really a manifester, okay, a master manifester, there is no place in your life for being angry or upset with anybody for too long because you understand that you created it in the first place. Even to be upset with yourself for creating it is completely stupid, okay? You really need to understand that this is completely reversed. You need to understand where this came from so that you can replace the creation and then go on your merry, jolly life. OK, but many people get stuck in these uh, mentality uh, in, in this mentality where look at this and look at this. Look how wrong this is. And this person wronged me and look how they behave and poor me and this and that. OK, how much time do you want to do this for? Seriously, though serious question, right? After covering, like I said, the situation at hand, we really need to understand you're the one who created it. And honestly, guys, Quickly here, parenthesis here. If you cannot accept, this is what I really wanted to say. If you are this person who cannot accept responsibility for the things that you've created and understand that you the one who created this mess, please do not come into my coaching. And please then do not get upset when I tell you this. Okay, some people, you know, got on the phone with me and that's exactly what I told them and you would not believe the reaction. It would it, it was as if I told them that, you know, the sun is about to get extinguished or something, you know, total panic, total rejection of the information. So look, if you really want a change in your life, you need to understand you created this period, the end. And then this is so such, I mean, I would have thought it was such a great piece of information, then then you get to rework whatever it is that you created. Okay, simple as that. I think you need to be humble enough and responsible enough to accept that yes, certain things are out of alignment. And this is why you get what you get okay, in life, and life is totally fair. 100% is it fair. The, do things sometimes happen that we do not, you know, foresee? Yes. But even that can be of, of a blessing in disguise. Even that can come uh, with some kind of a golden nugget, etc., etc. If your beliefs and if your um, perspective on life it, it resides in, you know, everything is working out for me and everything serves my purpose because I create my reality and I have nobody to blame. So provided you've worked on your beliefs, provided that you have forgiven people in your past, etc. These are things I go through in my coaching, which are tremendously important because you cannot paint um, on a painting that looks like crap. Once again, you need to get a new canvas, a clean slate, and then start painting. Okay. And so what does it look like? to create a new situation with your SP where you're the number one priority. Short answer, you have to become your own number one priority, okay? Chances are right now your beliefs are telling you if this is the situation at hand where somebody else is there, like a third party or something else is more important than you, is that you created the situation out of the belief system that I'm, all, I'm replaceable, I'm not as important, people always leave me, um, I don't really mean much to anybody, something to that effect. Okay, so it's coming from you. Again, it's consciousness outpictured. Like nobody is there to hurt you. It's just a matter of a game of consciousness, all right? So if your consciousness has beliefs downloaded that the world is against me and people are leaving me and this and any other, okay, this is exactly what's going to get outpictured. Period, the end, no matter what you do in the 3D, like I said. So if one day you change your beliefs and suddenly you start introducing things like, okay, you know, I may, may have been like believing things that are completely idiotic here, completely wrong, and that do not serve me at all. Why is it that people should leave me? I'm a totally lovable person. I've got lots to offer, okay? Um, I should be the priority in, in my love life, okay? People should come and, and really take interest in, if they're in my life of what I am about because I value myself, I know I'm the golden boot of my reality. I know I'm in the middle of my universe commanding everybody to act the way that they do. 
oh my goodness, I totally forgot. Now let me remind myself what that feels like and what that looks like. And so a lot of you, when you're chasing your SPs or you're trying to hard in the th th um, third dimension, 3D, or if you're doing things and trying this and trying that, that's playing like a complete, you know, victim of circumstances and not understanding that you don't need to do anything. You really don't need to do anything other than correct your belief systems and your consciousness will be out pictured differently. If you right here, right now, sitting with me, okay, and you decided in one moment, I am the priority for them because I am a great catch. I've got a lot going on. Now, parenthesis here, if you've been like crying and, and begging and pleading and chasing this person, you probably don't have a lot going on, okay, um, or you don't think you have a lot going on, but if you've been working on yourself, working on your beliefs, working on your business, working on your whatever, you know, t taking bubble bath, going for pedicure, smelling the roses, investing in your happiness, you know, meeting new amazing clients or, or friends or whatever, ba 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 ba, and your life is full and uh, you know brimming and and beautiful and you're perfectly content with who you are guess what your sp will be like wait a minute who is this person guaranteed right now if your mood is i need to chase and beg and plead and cry you're not his number one priority why would you expect him to be uh yourself to be it doesn't make any sense it's like just mechanically it doesn't make any sense you're not prioritizing yourself why should he or she you should invest as much in yourself, not in a narcissistic way, but in self-love way. Like I deserve to be invested in. I deserve a change in my life. I deserve to examine my beliefs. I deserve to, you know, feel happy. I deserve to do blah, blah, blah. But by myself, just like, you know, without anybody not seeking validation from your SP, not like, oh, I'll be happy when he or she is here. Fuck that shit. No, seriously, though. Like, seriously. You need to be happy on your own, with your own situation, whatever it is that makes you happy, with your uh, career or job or projects, whatever it is you're doing, and then the SP either comes or changes or starts making you the number one priority, pays attention to you more, and now things are back in order. But things are not in order when you contribute importance to some outside creation of yours that's your creation in the first fucking place. Okay, you see how universe is so genius when you go against the grain of how it, it, it's literally um, telling you that you're the golden Buddha. If you give up on that idea or don't know that idea or neglect that idea, things go, you know, sideways. Essentially, things are out of whack. When you get back into the position of being the golden Buddha of your reality, things get back in order. And so the universe is prompting you, hey, the mechanism of your fucking life is out of whack. Get back in the, into the structure of how things work. And like I said, it's a genius mechanism. And I mean, this goes not just for romantic relationships. It goes for business relationships. It goes for friendships. It goes for anything at all. It goes for money. It goes for anything that you're you know, uh, making so much fuss about and uh, putting on so much importance on these things that you're kind of like idolizing them. Meanwhile, it's, your, it's just your consciousness. It's you, okay? It's you that all of this is dependent on. You're idolizing the aftermath, the after effect. Meanwhile, you really, sh I, I wouldn't say you should idolize yourself, but you should pay attention more to what's going on with you. To how you're feeling, the kinds of messages that you're projecting out into the universe, to the kinds of ideas that circulate in your mind, the kinds of ideas that you communicate uh, to the quantum field, quite frankly. Okay, so if your idea up until now has been that, you know, different kind of out of out of whack ideas, like they're always leaving me, I'm not good enough, I'm not attractive enough, you know, you name it, all of this fucking bullshit, you know, that people believe. And then they're surprised that their life reflect uh, reflects it back to them. Okay, <laughs> don't worry, I'll wait <laughs> for you to connect the dots. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, golly. It's a conversation with you and you. So if your SP hasn't been paying attention to you, hasn't been prioritizing you, hasn't whatever responded to you when you wanted for them to respond, hasn't been respecting you or whatever it is that's going on, okay? You're not doing it for yourself. If you respect yourself, okay? Nobody can disrespect you. you. You could just like look at them. If they try to pull some bullshit, be like, are you okay? <laughs> you clearly don't know how to handle this with me. So I'll give you some time. Go ahead and just like go over there and just, you know, take some chamomile tea and get back to me when you're ready to talk to the golden Buddha. <laughs> This is self-love, okay? When you're not getting what you want, you really need to understand that, first of all, what am I doing with my mind? And secondly, even if, some, if, even if you're intact with your um, beliefs and, and everything that you have going on, once in a while, you'll, you will get tested. And it's how you handle those things. It not, if you react to this and you start getting upset over it, then you still haven't been, you know, kind of like processed with all of these things. You haven't processed how to really handle it. You will be tested and how you react. If it's funny to you at this point that some people get it in their head that, you know, like it's if somebody comes up to you and says something completely untrue about you, like you have three heads, you will be like, oh, how funny. <laughs> this guy has vision problems. <laughs> This is how you treat things that have absolutely nothing to do with you. But most of you have bought in, into these beliefs that have carried, you've carried over this with, from some experience, from your mom, from your dad, from childhood, from whatever, from adolescence. Some kind of belief has been in, 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 implanted in your mind and still is playing out in to, today's world for you, today's life. So that's the job that ultimately that will transform your life, which is why beliefs are so important to change. So again, if you today you decided that you're worth the time, that you're worth the attention, the affection. You don't need to chase after it. It's already yours, parenthesis here, okay? Parenthesis here, your SP is already yours. That's another conversation for another time. Everything is already yours. So it's a little bit funny, even to the universe, to observe a person who ch like has these, these ideas that are completely distorted, that something is against them, or something is not there, or the SP is not paying attention, or da 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 Da. it's all your construction my darlings it's all your the universe is just sitting there like when will they realize that everything is already belonging to them they just need to come to this realization and start commanding differently in their minds and start really applying it into their life and then it will become a different story it will become in the visible Everything exists in the parallel realities, okay? This is a serial universe of parallel realities. So if you're f focused and, and transfixed or obsessed with the current reality, guess what? It'll be playing out forever. It'll just be like copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Whereas if you change the structure of your blueprint, your beliefs, and start looking at things differently, start making changes, and what you outpicture out there, what you expect, okay, what it is that you really want to create versus what it is you see, then the reality is like it, it's in, it's inevitable. It's just it transforms in right in front of your eyes. And I really don't care what kind of situation it is right now. The next kind of um, in the next moment, things can change if you decide that they will change. But again, for a lot of people, that's really hard because chances are they've lived in dysfunction for like decades and it's hard for them to let go of all that junk. But it's absolutely necessary if you are to start establishing new rules in your reality that will be permanent if you choose for them to be so. Quite frankly, and, and I will close with this, if you can come to realize that gratitude for the things that you really abhor right now about everything that happened and everything that's going on gratitude is 
it's kind of like a transformative situation. If you can really bring yourself to be grateful, yes, for the things that people did to you, for the way they treated you, because underneath it all, like I said, there's always a golden nugget. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have learned that. If that hadn't happened, this wouldn't have happened. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be inspired to start my business. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be inspired to gain more confidence. On and on it goes. It's always there. Right. So that's the ultimate transformative power. If you can bring yourself to be grateful for the things that happen, the things completely change. You feel elevated. You feel transformed. And now these things have no power in your life anymore. You're not carrying over the past drama, trauma, panoramas and copy and pasting them into the present day. Okay. You deserve better. You deserve to have a better future. Okay, so offer it, offer this opportunity to yourself to start thinking differently. Start thinking that you are the priority in any SP's um, life that you choose, in anybody's life that you choose. Okay, that they treat you nicely the way that you want them to, that you deserve that. Okay, some of you like are so entrenched into thinking about what's going on right now, you haven't even contemplated what it would look like if everything was according to your plan. Yeah, <laughs> it's that shift of perspective that quite frankly delivers amazing results. But again, it's the belief system that ultimately needs to change and ultimately will transform your ac I mean, acceptance of what could be. Because you can contemplate a lot of things, but if you don't believe it can happen to you, you know, if you're saying, oh, it could happen to you, but not to me. No, it can happen to you too if you work on yourself. All right. Thank you very much for listening. All the information from me is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.